as promised I'm going to show you how I'm going to do this uh, first of all obviously I have to do it in place uh, so I covered my layout up got some cardboard up there to sort of protect the wall um, I'm not going to go over how I sprayed the adhesive I'm using a Gorilla spray adhesive because that's what we had a couple mistakes I had this laying flat right here when I was spraying I got a drip I'm hoping that dries and it won't be there but it dripped on the back of the backdrop and I'm hoping that it's not a stain I have to get my wife to disguise it um, it didn't want to stick very good up here for some reason maybe I it was at the end of the seam and so I didn't spray it heavy enough but and along the top it didn't do very good so I pulled it back and sprayed a little bit there and put it up there and well it was real wet and so it made that I think that will dry I think that'll dry and because it sort of looked the same way there at one time and it, uh, it's not there now so I think that'll go away I'm beginning to doubt that one will <laughs> maybe I'll have to cover with a hill or something okay. so I'm going to show you I've got everything off my fascia so I've unplugged the light and I'm just going to show you in case any of you are thinking about this it's really simple so I've got I've only got it held on with a screw there and oh a screw right here that's all that's holding this thing to those brackets so I'm going to take those out and then I'll just lift it off and I'll show you how easy this is I've got the two screws out they were holding it I did have to put a couple of little masonite shims in there to keep it from slanting down too much. Um, so this is just half of a bifold closet door with some fascia on it. And of course I've got the, the lights on it, but it's relatively light. So I can just get this off and set it on the ground. I need to get something. Now the brackets just lift out. So if you're thinking about putting your lighting balance, it doesn't get much easier than this. So I have to do a little bit of prep work. I want you to notice where the white strip that says A. So I'm going to cut that off. Maybe I don't have to. Maybe I can just glue that on the top of it. Um, this is how much sky that I cut off. So this stuff is pretty tall. Again, I made that 13 inches tall. So, you know, it's, I don't know, it's probably two feet tall. It's in the uh, metric. <laughs> This is the next piece that I'm going to put up. So, just like this, this is where my right hand is, is going to match up to what I just glued up. I'm going to take it back in the kitchen, on the kitchen table. I want to mark it to cut it to 13 inches. And then I've got to move my uh, masks to, so I'm not spraying adhesive on the wall. So, when I get ready to put it up, I'll talk about it and I'll show you how I do it. All right, I'm going to put the uh, phone back on the tripod here in a second. Uh, first of all, I couldn't get that white strip off. Probably waited too long uh, to glue it. My wet spot up here, pretty much gone. Happy about that. Um, I decided to use wax paper. I figured if I just used a regular piece of paper there and I sprayed too heavy, it might soak through. So I got a piece of wax paper to uh, cover the, the backdrop up. I marked with pencil, where's that? Uh, right there, where the this piece of backdrop is going to end. So I know I'll quit spraying, you know, right in here. So I'm going to get another piece of cardboard and put there before I uh, do this. Um, covered up my track 
Just gonna make sure nothing get, gets over, I'll land on the overspray. Um, so let me uh, finish that uh, piece right there and then I will put the uh, phone on the tripod and I'll try to do this uh, on on camera. Don't know how successful it's going to be. I think you're going to be mainly looking at my back, but we'll try it. Uh, so give me a few minutes and I'll uh, give it a shot. Okay, I've been shaking this, so it's shake well. Uh, hold can six to eight inches from the surface to be bonded. If you want really strong, you're supposed to spray both the front and the back. But once you put it on there, and you're done. <laughs> so I'm not doing that. I'm doing it reposi repositionable bond. Uh, so it's supposed to spray a light, even coat on one surface, allow to dry one to three minutes before joining. And so I'm going to spray it. I'm going to stop the video. Uh, and then I'll start it again after I've uh, ready to put it in place. We'll see how this works. <laughs> well past my pencil mark. Let's let that sit for a minute. Alright, here we go. Got the window open. By the way. Get a stick.
tell me bending over. Stop the video and work on it a little bit. I'll show you what it looks like. You can see I matched it up pretty good. You can clearly see the seam from this angle. Um, I think I can go in with some adhesive like on a toothpick or a little brush or something and stick that down a little bit. It's not super smooth, but I bet you're always going to see a little bit of a seam there. Uh, but yeah. And there's actually, the sky match is pretty good, but I sort of run into the same thing I did on my um, Instant Horizon backdrop. And I don't know if I have anything I can really point with without blocking it. But the hills aren't quite matching a little bit there. They're close, uh, but you know, there's a little bit of mismatch there, I think. Um, my dot that I spread where I dripped on the back of it never did fade out. Up the top, you can still see where that was a little bit. That's not super noticeable. Again, that's going to be at the very, very top. But you won't even see it. Remember, the patient's going to come over like this. So you won't even see that up the top at all. Uh, I sort of ran into the same issue over here. This wasn't one to stick at the top. So I peeled it back a little bit, sprayed a little bit in there, stuck it up there. I didn't spray as heavy as I did last time that's why I don't have a wet spot but now it's sticking pretty good I'm just gonna leave the white on there uh, but I think these hills this is a European scene but it's from such a distance you can't there's nothing stands out European about it there's no castles <laughs> anything like that uh, and the hills are just about right for southern Ohio so pretty happy with it uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put up the next piece but I won't film that um, and I'll show you a picture of what it looks like when it's all done. So this is the joint between the second and third piece. Uh, I just wanted to show you this real quick before I clean it up. Uh, when I peeled the tape off, of course very carefully because I don't want to tear the paper backdrop, this little bit stuck, so I'm going to have to go in there and pick that off really carefully. Uh, but again, it's matching up pretty good. Pretty happy with it. So I'm going to put up the last piece now. Okay, I'm finished. Uh, I haven't, well, I'm not finished. I haven't cleaned up this joint yet, which I just talked about. Um, and I'm probably sh pretty sure if I take some like colored pencils or something like that, I can disguise that seam in the sky uh, better. Uh, this seam came out pretty good. Now, I just did this by myself. The pieces were short enough that I could do it by myself and handle it. Now if these were like a 10 foot long piece, obviously you probably have two or three people might be helping you. Um, wrapped it around out here, so again if I'm taking a picture of the brickyard, uh, the backdrop doesn't just end right here. Um, didn't make as many mistakes as I thought. Of course we'll find out in the morning. We may come out in the morning and this is all lay, laying face down on the, on the layout. Um, here's where it matches with the other one. I knew it wasn't going to match. So I'll get my wife in here and we'll talk about it, see what we need to do. They make these backdrops to where you can, you know, make a continuous backdrop. There's another series. Now, this one is, I can't remember what the number of it is. There's another one that matches up with this height-wise and goes the other way. So they make these things so you can just have like a continuous backdrop uh, if you want to. So if I get that other series, if I decide to do that, I'll just replace the Walters one. And if I do that, I'll replace the whole board and I'll extend the backdrop well past here. So when I'm taking a picture of wherever, you just don't see the wall. Um, pretty happy with it. I mean, got home from work. Uh, you, you saw where I was with the Cove Corner. Um, I spent more time masking than I did anything else. Um, 
Uh, I did this by myself. Probably if I'd have done it in a continuous run without taking the dog for a walk and stopping to eat supper and all that, probably could have done it in a couple hours or less. Uh, so pretty happy with it. Uh, I'm going to touch it up, but uh, it's, a, it's a good value. I think it's around $50, something like that. Um, so I, thought, I think it's pretty good. I like it. Um, I love some of the commercial backdrops uh, out there, like Jerry Ricard's uh, backdrops are phenomenal, but it would have cost me twice this, uh, what, what I, if not more. Um, would have been a better quality, it would have been seamless, but, you know, for the, it's a backdrop, so I am more than happy with this. Next project, put the roof on this and the lights up there and then it's really going to look like a seamless seamless layout and I won't have any excuse at all to uh, <laughs> not uh, work on the creek. I did get the bridge today in the, in the mail but I'm going to go ahead and get this roof on first before I do anything else um, and I'm going to have some low hills in here too. This isn't just going to be flat uh, so I'll try to sort of blend it into the backdrop. I don't know how much it's like this in here. I don't know how much you'll actually see. And you can tell, like I said, it's a European scene. But it's from such a far distance, you don't really notice it. You know, there's nothing. I mean, these signs obviously are European. There's nothing like that in the United States. But you're not going to notice it. Um, you know, you cover that up with a building or a tree or something. Um, it's pretty nice. So on this here, I'll go ahead and post it. Uh, main reason why I'm going to post it tonight is because I want you to see that this only took me one day. I posted the other video uh, Tuesday. I'm posting this one Wednesday, so you'll see it's pretty simple. Um, so everybody have a good evening and stay safe.